Here we are now in this video, we will see how we can install uh, Kafka in Ubuntu. So basically, uh, we will follow basic steps like uh, we are going to install using the tar file. So here we have a uh, .tzz file. So we will be installing using this. Till then, let's search the commands or uh, we can use the Kafka documentation actually to install. Just open up this the first link and uh, we can uh, go in quick start and uh, here you can see all the commands to install so once it's done we can just uh, go for the installation okay it is done let me just open our terminal so it's in download so we can uh, create a directory using mkdi or something or we can just bring it uh, uh, at this path okay just untar it okay then go back and in, go into this directory then you have to follow some of the commands here so here we have Kafka cluster ID. You have to just define a variable in that. You have to just uh, uh, generate a random ID. So once it's done, then we have a command of storage.sh that we use. So just uh, use that command. Okay, cool. Then we have a uh, service start.sh. But before that, let me just show you the properties file. So several properties here we have. Here you can define the node ID. Then you need to uh, set the bootstrap server. Like this ID will be used for the uh, like your producer and consumer uh, that will be using this particular bootstrap server. Okay. Like this detail you need to provide into your whatever uh, producer and consumer you write in Java or Node or in any language. Then we have some uh, advertise listener, these are the default things. So, and this is a log directory. So, you can change it even if you want, or you can keep it as it is. Okay, no issues. So, uh, in this way, you can just uh, like uh, set up Kafka. So, basically, our uh, server properties is you can keep it by, uh, by default, like as it is if you don't want to change anything then uh, once this uh, store is done we will just start the kafka so this is started this is started into the foreground but uh, we don't want just do control c and clear the screen and here you have to just do hyphen hyphen daemon and it will start into sorry Kafka fatal exception just to hyphen daemon yeah so now if you do process of Kafka so here you can see Kafka is running okay so in this way you can install so if you want to see some like uh, produce and consumer I'll just show you so if you go down and uh, here is the topic so yeah this command also we can use to create a topic first So bin I missed. It will create a topic with name something quick start events. Then uh, you can see to describe. So that also we can do. So there is a topic name partition leader replica everything you can see. And. Uh, then we have a producer okay so this is the producer so from this side we will produce and then we will have a consumer okay so we will keep it like this so this is the producer and this side we will open a consumer so that also we will take it from here only not here here so this is the command to consume the events so just uh, enable this 
okay so now here we will keep high so here or there also you will see hi just go hello so there also you will see hello so this uh, whatever message you are typing uh, it is going through a topic and then it is this uh, consumer uh, is uh, has subscribed that particular topic and it is consuming those messages so in this way you can uh, use the uh, producer and consumer this is just for the testing purpose but in your production you might be using any programming language to do all these things so that's it in this way you can set up kafka and i will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching